hello everyone and then welcome to another video okay so as promised um this will be the video on what limit points okay this is very very short this is going to be a very very short video okay so i'm i'll be highlighting what you need to know and then the ones you don't need to know okay right so in case you are new to this channel and then you enjoy this video or like to know more about um more about how to learn smart okay and not hard and then is your papers okay I will urge you to consider subscribing to the channel and okay turn on your bell notifications like the video share to your friends who might need this video to help augment their studies and then let me know in case you have any questions regarding this video in the comment section and then i'll reply to them as soon as possible okay so you know that limit points a set of a set maybe a it could be set b get set a set c it doesn't matter okay provided it's a set of what numbers okay so limit points lp okay so whenever you see lp in this um video i'm referring to what limit points okay right so limit points lp okay limit points of a set limit point of a set lp okay limit point of a set that's lp okay it's a set a of numbers okay and it's a member member of what it's a let number L, okay. So limit points LP of a set A of numbers, okay. So the set maybe the set could be set A and then it contains numbers like one, two, three, okay. Right, so it's a set of it's a set A, okay. Let's say A of numbers, okay. So this is a set A containing numbers, okay, and then it's a number L. So the limit point is represented by what L okay, this is how it represents limit points, okay. Such that every deleted delta neighborhood of one okay contains elements of the set A. So what we are trying to say is that or what we are trying to prove is that so from our previous video on what um neighborhood I stated that once you learn any course under that subtopic, you'll be um implementing it. In subsequent topics okay so try to go through the video so that you get to understand so once you want to understand what deleted delta neighborhoods are just go to the uh, playlist okay and then you find the video over there what for that you come back to, to this video and then you will get to understand okay so it's a deleted delta neighborhood of one contains elements of the set so this is the set x minus a that's absolute and then we start from what the absolute of x minus one Okay, the one is a okay, right? Then that has to be what greater than zero because it's de deleted delta neighborhood and then less than what the delta. Okay, now um you need to know about what limit points. Okay, I'll not bore you with what how to prove it and all that. Okay, I'll just give you the um the cheat sheet. Okay, it's a cheat sheet I created so that you don't need to you know bother yourself with um do yourself. Okay, so. I'll introduce the cheat sheet shortly okay so all you have to do is just all you have to do is just copy the cheat sheet okay so you write them down i might be reading some okay and then you'll be writing in case you don't see what i've written me reading it will help you um get the exact words okay this all we will this all we have to um discuss under what limit points okay you know that it's a num it's a set of um fig number stars maybe a the limit point is being represented with l okay and then has a, every deleted neighborhood of one contains elements of set a now again once you want to understand what deleted neighborhood is all about just go to our playlist on what algebra 2 okay algebra 2 and then you watch that video and then come back to this video and then now let's dive right into what the the cheat sheet okay this is the cheat sheets cheat sheet now okay right so all you have to do is just keep the video rolling and then you just write them down okay so the first cheat sheet is says like one two three four five six usually has no what limit points okay set like these to, do not have limit points okay so whenever you come across a question and then it says that what the limit point for these sets do not have limit points now sets like this that's even numbers okay so these are counting numbers counting numbers do not have what limit points but even numbers 
has no similar to what counting numbers they do not have limit points now fractions okay even fractions okay so we have one on two one on four one on six has limit point of zero so whenever you come across any sets okay in this form one over two one over one over six one over eight one over ten they all have limit point of what zero now let's proceed sets of rational numbers have many limit points so you know what rational numbers are okay you know rational and then irrational numbers so rational numbers are they could be represented in what fraction they are reoccurring they are not terminating okay in case you watch a video on rational and irrational numbers you get to understand um what rational numbers are okay so in case you don't understand just go back to the video and then come back to this video again so set of rational numbers have many limit points now let's proceed set 1 over 2 1 over 4 1 over 3 1 over 5 so it's something like a fraction which is even and fractions which are odd so 1 over 2 1 over 4 1 over 3 1 over 5 they usually have what usually have limit points of what 0 and then 1 so they have limit point two limit points for okay two limit points so zero and then one or a set of zero and one now let's proceed so closed sets okay so again in case you don't understand what closed sets are you go back to our first video on rational and irrational numbers neighborhood okay you get to understand what closed sets are okay so closed sets which are what zero and one usually has or have limit points of what zero and one which are also closed okay so for me you could notice that this is a closed set from the brackets and then you can also know that this is also what closed sets okay so for this cheat sheet i'm giving you the the kind or the types of sets and then the limit point the exact limit points okay right this is very very simple so seven we have what eight um set two three so this is what open set okay this closed this open so set two three which is open has a limit point which is closed or set minus one one okay so these sets have what this limit point okay right let's proceed and then we have what limit point of an open set. now two three okay two three is an open set because the brackets are what in this form okay they are not in this form this is a closed set this is um an open set okay this is closed this open okay so limit point of an open set corresponds to its closed set so example this is what um this is um an open set okay okay this is an open set this is an open set zero one and then they have what limit point of what closed set of zero one so this brings us to the end of this video i'll add you to you know subscribe like share and then now let me know your questions in the comment section and i will see you in the next video bye bye